Hello, this is Harold Cold Games Mountain here, here to give you a new deck update. Um, I'm filming this on my new phone. Um, obviously, I can't afford a camera, but this is the uh, my new phone, so you know, let me know how the uh, quality is and everything. Um, I'm going to try and do a lot more recordings because the battery life on this one is amazing. So, okay, as you can see, this is my new kind of deck that I've been working on. Um, it's strictly for DN, it's strictly for fun, it's a very troll worthy, it's not a nice deck, and you can seriously beef things up to some serious sicko power. Uh, does it have a very good uh, Dragon matchup, but it's more for the other decks, and obviously if you have everything else, you can sort for dragons inside, but mostly this thing goes for extreme hand advantage, and you'll see why. Okay, so we'll start off with your free Dark Red Enchanter. When this card is normal, someone placed two counters on it each time a spell card is at for each time a spell or normal spell card is actually placed one counter on this card. This card gains 300, uh, 300 tap for each spell counter on this card. So as soon as you summon it, as soon as this card is normal summoned, bang, two counters. So they're going, okay, alright, okay, so it gains 300, so okay, uh, that's 23, uh, that's not great. And then every time you play a spell card on it, so one counter. So it's not really nice, you can really tilt this thing up and like room, so straight away you can remove one card and wave obviously you're going through your. Uh, spell combos that can be quite deadly. But yes, well, show you things because it's quite nasty. So you then run your Kel Sorcerer because it's spell cast. You also run your Oracles and Sons because you can special summon and it adds a few extra little combos to that for an extra light target for your Kel Sorcerer. One Herald of Creation just so you can add your Kel Sorcerer or your Dot Red back to your hand. Uh, Blast Ma Rapid Magician, sorry. If it for your turn each time a normal spell card is activated, there are quite a few normal spell cards in this deck. That is the unfortunate problem. Uh, summon a monk times two because you either want to get your rapid fires out, and there we go. Your magician of prophecy to your cheer, uh, copycat just because uh, level one, and also um, jester lord because no one seems to run jester lord, and I just seem to. Basically, I had too many cards in hand, and someone was like, okay, what can I summon? And I was like, oh, I've got an idea last day, and I asked to just a lot to my hand. Uh, pretty much, I was like, I had enough spell books in my hand, so I just set everything, and then I just attacked. And it was like, this guy just going, what? So I was like, yeah, yeah, 5k, go for it. I have to put a spell book of power, it was like 6k. 6k just a lot. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you and your new spell books, so three secrets, three master, two power, three fate, two star hall, three wisdom, one eternity, three judgment, tower, life, two duality, because you kind of want to try and get your red to your hand, but it's not mandatory, and it's also an extra normal spell for dark red when you happen to do it. Because guaranteed, each time you kind of go for your dot red, if you tribute summon it, now if you tribute, so I kind of do it is I play and I'll kind of go through the combo for it later. So, uh, mind, monster, and foolish. Foolish is to send your chaos or your dot reds just so you can kind of sort stuff out or an extra finger if you want your chaos to go off. So, yeah. So it's kind of cool. I mean, I always go. So if you've got it, so if you've managed to get magician on the third, you go that, that, go that again, go power. That's easily made free on your dot red. That's one card at least to minus. So that's always good. One card to minus is fun, and it kind of stops your opponent a little, a little bit. So you're kind of giving up a little bit, but you got your advantage. So. If you do that, that's free, so that's 900 extra attack power. It's a good 26. If you've got the power on top of it, that's 36. That pretty much runs over most things in the game at this point in time. So, obviously, unless you you got really lucky and say you've got a star hole at the back first, then obviously you've done your, your, your secret run, and then that's got a good free on it. So you're like, okay, that's got three. 
that's a good one. So it's like, okay, that's 300 attack. So you got your, and that makes you dot red two, you know, 2,000 on his own. Then you got 3,000 for power. Then you got the free again, so you got 39. So that's a good 39 beat stick. And then obviously you're gonna waste a couple, you know, nuking the hand a little bit. Obviously, I probably won't recommend that to, to uh, you know, dragons, but it's just funny. It's something to think about. So yeah, uh, you know, try the deck out. You know, it's not the best. I kind of there's other things I'd probably say, but this is just a fun deck, a little idea. I mean, obviously, if you can get off rapid fire first turn and you just go bum 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 bum, have some, yeah, or you go summon along, discard something, get a yeah, rapid fire, do your secret run, there you go. But that's like, okay, so you go 400, 800, 1200, and the guys are going, uh, you do that a cowboy, you've got 2k in damage. So it's not too bad, it's it's just a little something different, it's fun. So. Anyway, this Sarah Card game's over now. Sorry I haven't done it for a while, I do apologise, and see you guys later.